What is happening, everyone? These are mad times. Mad, I tell you. Radar, radar everywhere. If you're a DD main, you have known for quite some time that there has been a steady rise in the amount of radar in this game. And with the recent split in the US in cruiser line, it's getting worse. And we don't even have all the ships in yet. They're still coming. 0.7.6 has yet to hit. This round alone, I'm playing the gearing. First time I've played the gearing in a random game in a while. Played it a little bit in ranked, decided to take it out. I love the gearing, phenomenal ship. Can't wait for the Fletcher torpedoes to be on the gearing. Thought I'd give myself a little primer, a little warm up. And I did, I did pretty good in this round. It wasn't a spectacular highlight round, but the reason I'm showing you this round is because of the amount of radar in it. This game alone has nine ships with radar. Nine out of 24. The enemy team had five ships with radar. Our team had four ships with radar. Not even an even split, but that's besides the point. That doesn't matter. The fact of the matter is there's a lot of radar in this round. It is a DD mains nightmare. And if you came here thinking I was going to complain about radar for the next I don't know, 10 minutes or so? Maybe not even that long. You're wrong, I'm not gonna complain about the radar. I'm just not. I've been playing long enough now that I've been able to find ways to mitigate it. Instead of rushing in, if you're playing against a team that has several Des Moines or other radar capable ships, you know not to push the cap right away. You know they're probably lurking behind some terrain and they're just gonna pop that radar and you're gonna get lit up and it's gonna be nasty and it's gonna be disgusting and you're gonna get sunk right away so yes there are ways to mitigate it obviously radar is somewhat the point of this because it's in the title of this video right the overabundance of radar and yes it is a trend right now it's a bad trend that is really throwing off the balance of things but one of the things i wanted to touch at though is balance in general I mean, the past couple days have been absolutely popcorn-eating material. Straight up. World of Warships and Wargaming have been awesome with their developer's blog on Facebook. They've been putting out a lot of great information, a lot of neat tidbits. Again, like those Fletcher torpedoes that are going to be making their way onto our gearings. Can't wait for that. A lot of great information comes out from the dev blog, and you need to follow it on Facebook if you're not following it right now. But back to the point at hand, the popcorn worthy week right now. It's been fantastic because the first thing you have is the dev blog stating that destroyers are going to be getting extra armor plating and the entire battleship population went ballistic, absolutely ballistic. You've got them saying that battleships are getting nerfed, that this is going to be horrible for them. It's going to be the worst thing in the world. No longer can we one-shot destroyers with AP. It's horrible. If they wander close enough to Montana, they should get blapped with AP, people are saying. And I'm just sitting here thinking back to the days and closed beta where if I was in a battleship and I suspected that there was a destroyer around, I'd switch to HE automatically because that's what you did. You used HE against destroyers and you used AP against everything else. Didn't work as well against destroyers. And I don't know if we just realized that, oh yeah, AP does work against destroyers. I, I, I don't seem to recall where the shift in that meta happened, but yeah, now we're at the point where if you're a battleship, you can play lazy. You don't have to switch to HE if you don't want to. You can blap a destroyer that gets close enough or within 10 to 12 kilometers. You can absolutely punish them. And part of the arguments are, well, in real life, yeah, in real life, I get that. In real life, things work differently. This isn't real life, though. It's an arcade game with ships. Do you really want to cause flooding with an AP shot below the waterline on a destroyer? For those that played in alpha testing way, way back, even before closed beta, talk to them and they'll tell you how miserable that was. So no, I don't think we want to go that route. So yes, I just sat there watching as the usual BB versus DD fight continued. Destroyers get armor, that's a horrible, horrible thing. Well, you know what, guys, I'm telling you right now, just chill, chill. Just let these changes play out. 
Yes, I know, some of them can be frustrating, but we can talk all we want prior to these changes coming out. We can assume we know what's going to happen before it happens, but usually what we think is going to happen doesn't, if that makes sense. And it might, it might not. Let, let me socialize a concept here. Everybody thought RPF was going to be the worst thing to happen to the game. Everybody thought that eliminating stealth firing was going to be the worst thing to happen to the game. Everybody thinks that every new major shift in the game is going to be the worst thing to happen to the game. And several months after it comes out, we come to find out that it's really not. So, with all these changes coming our way, with all these changes to Destroyer Armor and everything else, I'm just urging you to have a little bit, a modicum, of caution, of patience. You know, after a month, if it looks like these changes aren't going to be good, yeah, I'm sure Wargaming is going to tinker with them. That's nothing new. Personally, I'm kind of happy that the Destroyers are getting a little more of that armor. I really think it's necessary. And I don't believe the Battleship players' fears that it's going to nerf them are really founded in anything. And this is coming from someone who plays destroyers and battleships pretty much equally. Destroyers, battleships, and cruisers, actually. I, I play most of them about equally and shift back and forth every now and then. So it's not like I'm a destroyer main, or a battleship main, or a cruiser main. I'm, I'm just not. I, I like all three classes, and notice I'm not saying anything about carriers. Carriers are their own unique class. And the interesting thing right now is with all these changes, you only hear complaints coming from the battleship players and the destroyer players. You hear not a peep out of cruisers because they've been getting a lot of love lately. They really have. They're the ones with the radar. They've got nothing to complain about whatsoever. And then the carriers, which, God bless their souls, they've been so ignored and they know that this giant, giant change to carrier gameplay is coming. They don't say anything at all right now. If you can even find them. Do they even exist anymore? Carrier players, are you out there? Yeah, I know you're out there. I've seen you. I've seen you the past couple weeks, actually. You all are, like, coming out of the woodwork. It's amazing. And competent, good carrier players at that. But, back to the issue at hand, and I touched on it for a second, with balance and radar and armor and everything else. That's the problem Wargaming is going to come into right now, the balance factor of things. And yes, there is an overabundance of radar right now, especially with the split in the USN cruiser line. Going forward, going forward, it is my personal thought that if somehow the amount of radar producing ships is not curved, there might be balance issues in the future. As a destroyer player, I have found ways to get around the issues of a lot of radar. You gotta play on your toes though. You just gotta play smart. You gotta use terrain a little more. You can't just charge into cap thinking you're gonna take cap, especially in tiers 8, 9, and 10. You can't. You can't charge in there willy-nil anymore. So other class players, if you have destroyers on your team, you need to understand that they're not gonna do that. You need to understand that they're gonna play a little more cautious. They just are. They have to. Because of that, significant amount of radar. If they charge in, they're going to get sunk. They're going to get sunk first, and then you're going to complain that they got sunk, and they don't want to hear it. They don't. And I feel bad for them, because it's a bad place to be a destroyer. Especially if you're the first one sunk. You kind of got that little, uh, yeah, that was me. Sorry, I'm out. Can't help you all anymore. And it's only been the first two minutes of the round. So, destroyer players, you got to play a little more on your toes out there. The enemy team has five ships with radar, it sucks. But maybe you just gotta stick in the back a little more and provide smoke like I did this round, which I have no problem providing smoke. I kind of alternated between trying to help my team launching torps and, you know, if a ship came within uh, range that I felt I could hit with my guns, I did that. It wasn't a huge damage producing round, but it was enough to get me second on the leaderboards on our team, and I'm perfectly happy like that. If I could replicate this every single round for the rest of my warship's career, I'd be happy with that. No, I'm not happy having to deal with five radar capable ships every single round, but for now there is a fragile bit of balance. There is. However, if many more of these ships pop up, it's going to swing in the other direction. And I have noticed a lot less destroyers lately. Personally, the battleship side of me is kind of happy about that. Not seeing five destroyers per team per round. I'm happy with two or three. 
That's perfectly fine by me. Been a lot more cruisers. Yes, it's the cruiser split effect. Hey, that's fodder for battleships. See this round robin thing going on right now? I don't think the armor that the destroyers are getting is going to be that big of a deal for you battleships. It's not going to give them the ability to all of a sudden run up on you right now and just absolutely crush and destroy you. And It's not going to neuter you battleships out there. It's just not. And the reason for that is the extreme significant amounts of radar out there right now. That radar is protecting you. You can't look at this game like you are a single player taking on 12 ships. You got teammates, and for now it is balancing out a little bit. Maybe not so much in the favor of destroyers, but it is. So with everything, with all the news we get in the developers' blogs, just have caution. Don't start jumping to conclusions right away. Wait till the testing happens. Wait until you actually encounter the situation in-game, and then we can start to devise theories about how to fix the issues we have. I'm just hoping right now, personally, that we're not at a point with radar where we're too far gone to do anything about it. Or the only thing to do about it is add some kind of countermeasure to radar, which I don't want to see. I, I really don't. That's just one more module you got to worry about. It's one more thing to add to a litany of things. So I'm really hoping that doesn't happen. I'm hoping we don't get there. But I don't know how to balance the stem of the amount of radar we have right now. I just don't. I, I see a lot of it, and while I'm not going to complain about it, I'm going to deal with it, it does concern me just a little bit. It does. So yes, there is a ton of radar out there. Yes, you need to watch out for it. You need to alter your play style. And yes, destroyers are getting armor plating. They're getting a little buff right there. But battleships, you got to understand, they're up against a lot right now. These destroyers are up against a ton. And keeping them alive benefits you if they're on your team. Don't think of it as, it's going to suck for me. Think of it as, it's going to help me because these destroyers are going to stay alive now. Anyhow, guys, that's all I got. It's kind of a ramble right here. Sorry, just got stuff on my mind. Lots of things regarding radar and everything else going on. So, I want to know your thoughts though. What do you think about the issues with radar? Do you think things are too imbalanced with the amount of radar right now? Have you learned to deal with it if you're a destroyer? If you're a battleship, are you cool with the armor destroyers are getting? Or do you think it's a horrible thing? I'm interested. Leave a comment. Let me know. Be sure to like, sub, blah, blah, blah. Everything that YouTubers tell you to do. Blah, 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 blah. All right, whatever. I'm out. Take it easy.